Hello, today we're going to do Module 5, Lesson 13. Our objective is that we're going to identify a shaded fractional part in different ways depending on the designation of the whole. So, <clears throat> just because it says we, we've determined that it's a half, if we change the whole, we're going to see what happens. Okay, before we get started, let's do this. I would like you to make a unit. And when, just to make this easier, let's call this a unit on your paper draw a unit. Now, label it as one-third. Now, make the rest of it. Make the whole part of it. Okay, well if it's a third, how many more will I need? I'm gonna need two more, aren't I? There's my whole. Okay, make another unit. Label it one-fifth. Okay, make the rest of it. Make the whole. Okay, well, if this is one-fifth, I'm going to go this way. All right. So each one of these is going to be one-fifth, right? One-fifth and fifth, one-fifth, one-fifth, and how many do I know I need to make? I need to make five to make one whole. One, two, three, four, five. This is one whole. Okay, make another unit. Whoops. Make another unit. This time, label it one, oh, one-fourth. Let's do one-fourth. Okay, please make the rest of the whole. How many more units do you need to make a whole? If it's fourths, you need four fourths to make a whole, right? All right, so let's make four fourths. There's one fourth. That's two fourths. Oops. Two fourths. Three fourths. Four fourths. They don't always have to be long sticks. So now I've made the rest of my whole. Okay? Our application problem. David wants to make a pitcher using nine square tiles. What fraction of the, of the pitcher does one tile represent? Okay, now let's see. If he's got nine tiles, and what would one tile be? So let's just see. Nine tiles. Make no, oops, oh my goodness. I have to make it a little bigger. Nine tiles. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I have nine tiles. What does one of those represent? It represents one ninth, right? Okay, so it says to draw three different ways that Davis could make his picture. Well, here's one way. Is there another way? Sure, what if we did it this way? What if we did it like this? We would have nine tiles. So what if we divided it in thirds? So I've got three. There we go. One, two, three. Three times three is nine. Color one in. I have one nine. Is there another way? Sure there is. What if we did it like this? One. Four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, and I shade one in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I showed one ninth. The picture is the same. It's not the same, isn't it? We've got three different pictures, and they all have nine tiles and only one tile is colored in. So each picture shows one ninth. It didn't say it had to be a rectangle, did it? Okay. Now, that's a good refresher. I want you to look in the in the video of my face. We're going to imagine that we have an index card. This is a piece of notebook paper, but we're going to pretend like this is an index card. Okay, so this is my current index card. This is what it looks like. Now if you want to do this, you can pause the video and go get a small piece of paper or an index card as well. And you can give it a try. 
Okay, now what I want to you to see is that I'm going to fold it in half. Oops, going to lose my pen. I'm going to fold it in half. Okay, so now over here, I folded it in half. Okay, now I would like you to fold it in half again. So now I folded it in half again. So this is what I did, didn't I? Now I'm going to draw what I did. Okay, so I fold it in half, but when I open it up, I have four folds, so let's draw that right here. Find my pencil. I have one right here too, don't I? Okay, now, I'm going to take my marker, and I'm going to trace one-fourth of my fraction, or one-fourth of my paper. Okay? I'm going to put dots right here so you can see my folds better. My lid on my marker. Now you see, oops, I have one-fourth. Okay? So what I have done is I have outlined this, and I've written this as one-fourth. Now, what is my whole? What is the whole of my paper? The whole of my paper, I'm going to get a different marker, is the entire paper, isn't it? So I'm going to try to draw this and then hold it up for you. This is my entire paper, right? This is my whole. So what is the whole on my drawing? I'm going to have to change colors. What's the whole of my drawing? It is, and we know that that red section is one-fourth because we have one, two, three, four pieces, and we labeled one of them. Okay, now, I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to draw another paper here. If I can change my color, I would like to change my color. Come on. There we go. Okay, now this time, I want you to turn over on the back. So I've turned my paper over the back. And I'm folding it in half again. And I'm going to fold it in half again. Okay, so I did the same thing. I have this much. But I want you to look at this. Okay, this is now our whole. Okay, but we have the same amount folded. So, we folded it here, and we have one, f we have a part right here. Now, what is this part right here if this is my whole? My whole is no longer the whole paper. This right here is my whole. So, what would this be? This one part in red B, what would that be? I want to label it on my paper, so I'm going to draw the picture real quick on my paper so you see it. This is my whole, this whole part right here is my whole. Okay, so if this is my whole, the pink is my whole, I want to know what the green part is. What would that green part be? Well, how many parts did I cut it into? How many parts? One, two. And it's one part of two. So suddenly, the exact same piece or shade, shaded area, it looks like it's the same size. In fact, it is, isn't it? I can hold it like this, and you can see. This was my, whoops, I'm going to label that. That was my half, wasn't it? This is my fourth, and if I hold side by side, you can compare. My fourth and my half are exactly the same size. How can that be? How can it be exactly the same size? My fourth and my half, I hear my fourth, it's one part of four, and this was one half. Remember, my whole was different. So how come this is the same size as a fourth? That doesn't make any sense. Well, did my whole change the size of my whole? Absolutely. 
this is my hole. The green is my hole. And I had divided this hole into four pieces, and this hole I had divided into two pieces. So the size of your hole determines a lot of different things, doesn't it? Especially when you compare your fractions. Okay. Now, this time, please draw Oh, I'm trying to find my pencil. A rectangle. Okay. And then I want you to find out how many I want you to make show me two thirds. Here's one third. Here's two thirds. Let's shade in two thirds. We're labeling two thirds. So I colored in one. Here's two thirds. So this is one third. This was one third, and this is one third. Now, what if draw the, the same rectangle on the bottom? We shade the same amount, but so we shade it all the way to here. We shade the same amount, but what would happen if now? I drew it in half. So this is one half and this is one half. Okay, when I do this, I change the way my fraction would be, don't didn't I? This right here, not Z. Alright, what if I were to take away these labels right here and look only at the shaded region. Okay, so this is my new hole right here. Okay, I want to divide this into thirds. So right here would be a third, and right here would be a third, right? So now this one third changes when I look, when I compare it to this third, doesn't it? This third is not the same as this third, is it? No, very different. But we changed my whole. I'm, instead of looking at the whole rectangle, I looked at only the part that was shaded. And I divided that into thirds. Okay? <clears throat> a little bit confusing, but we'll keep practicing. I want to do a story problem real quick. Okay? Now, Kyle's mom brought his, brought his class cake for his birthday. Okay? And when she picked up the two cake pans at the end of the day, this is what she saw. So here's cake pan number one. Cake pan number two. They're about the same size. Okay? This one had all been eaten. And this one had all been eaten. All the blue is what was eaten by the kids. So this white over here, maybe it's white frosted cake, is what was left in the pans. And Kyle's mom said that, wow, your friends ate, this is what her mom, mom says, your friends, Kyle's friends, ate three-fourths of the cake that I sent. Kyle said, Kyle said, no, Mom, we ate six-fourths. Who is right? Who is right? Well, how can we even find out? Mom says that, that they ate three-fourths, and he says, no, we ate six-fourths. Hmm. Well, let's look at how the cake is divided. Let's see how Mom got three-fourths. Let's see how she did that. Let's make Mom green. Okay, so she probably, she's got to have some fourths. What, how can we divide them into four pieces? Well, I know right here I have two pieces, right? I got two pieces here, so if I divide this right here, divide this, 
out of the whole picture, I have one, two, three, fourths, right? Okay, but Kyle says, no, Mom, we ate six fourths. Okay, so how did he get that? Here's my hole. This is a hole. And he divided it into fourths, right? So right here, and then right here, and right here. Okay, well, there's four fourths. And then here's another hole. We'll divide it into fourths. And let's see. One fourth, two fourth, three fourth, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths. Wait a minute. We were able to draw the same. We were able to draw a picture and cover the same area and get three fourths, six fourths. Well, what was Kyle looking at? Kyle said that this was one hole. He said that that was one hole. What did his mom say? What was one hole? For, what was one hole for his mom? Mom said. This was one hole. What's different? She considered the two cake pans as one hole, and he considered one cake pan as one hole. So who's right? They're both right, aren't they? It all depends on what is your hole. Kyle's mom considered both pans as the whole. Maybe she considered it as the whole batch. Kyle considered one pan, one hole. Now, they're going to have a miscommunication, and Mom isn't going to understand what Kyle is saying until Kyle says, well, explains to her that one cake pan is one hole, and Kyle's not going to understand what his mom is saying and if, unless she tells him, oh, well, I thought that two pans were one hole. See, so we must define what one hole is. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to have parts and then we're going to divide them up. And we're going to change our holes. So maybe our holes are going to be two cake pans. Maybe our hole is going to be one cake pan. Okay? All right, good luck with your homework. And I'll see you soon.